how's your mama doing? How's everybody's mama doing? All right. No, but it's like this. Let me tell you this. I saw that video about these damn sixth graders or whatever talking shit to a old to to a grandmama to an elderly woman, the bus monitor, making her cry, calling her fat ass, talking about oh if they stabbed her with a knife she'll bleed butter, talking about McDonald's with butt like Big Macs with butt side of her and all this shit, and they talking about they gonna piss in her yard and shit on her doorstep and they was trying to figure out where she lived and all this and that. Like pump your brakes, pump your brakes. Why is these little badass, badass little kids in up here talking about shit? And then I heard, think I heard one of them say, I don't know. I think I heard one of them say rape or something. It's like, oh my god, these kids are bad. What's what's wrong with these kids? Did anybody teach these fucking kids any respect? Then I'm, then I'm hurt. Then at the end of the video, you'll hear, um, that's why your family commits suicide to get away from your fat ass, corner fat, troll, and all, and so on and so forth. I'm sitting up there like, oh my god, are you for real? I'm talking about she, she is ugly, she fugly, and all that. I'm like, these damn kids don't have no, there's two other, no, to, to tell you this, there's two other videos. Two other videos with this, with of these kids doing this, and then if you look down, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna post the link to this video, and under the, in the description of that video, you'll see the students' names. You'll see the students' names. But on this guy's channel, there's two other videos where it's the same kids making fun of this woman. And it's out there on YouTube. Why was this posted? One thing is, why was this posted on YouTube anyway? And that's the question I don't get. Why was the video posted on YouTube where where people could have where people could have uh, took it to the principal, the teacher, the police, their parents, some adult instead of posting it up on YouTube you're probably saying oh Afro Joe you're stupid you don't know what you're talking about I think it's funny no 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 I think it's wrong like I'm finna play some of it and y'all will hear these kids talking shit about it Are you kidding me? And, and I'm sitting up here. I was like, oh my God, why do I have to hear about this shit? And I've actually talked about kids, about how parents are not teaching their kids no respect. Now you got kids humped up on basalt. Now you got little sixth graders talking shit to a grandmother talking about, you're a fat ass. If I stab you with the knife, you'll bleed butter or some shit like that. I thought it was like, that was kind of wrong, but it, that was wrong and they laughed at it I was like you know what if I would have said it to a friend of mine like oh if I poke in your bed and go hoo hoo or I bet if I cut you on the bed like those man we had your mama jokes see that's what we had when I was growing up man we, we had your mama jokes and we played your mama jokes and your mama jokes was funny cause we everybody knew we was playing your mama jokes these kids wasn't playing your mama jokes this woman sitting up there crying, and these kids fat ass. Oh, if I tell you, be butter. Oh, you, you Big Mac's gonna fly out your stomach, give you a coupon to McDonald's. I'm sitting up there, it's like, why is these people letting their kids get on it? And the fuck, oh, and you know what's the fucked up thing about it? These kids love to incriminate themselves. Why do these kids love to incriminate themselves? Why? Why in the world would these kids love to incriminate themselves? That's all they do. They they think it's fun. They think it's funny. Oh, I'm going to sit here and beat up a teacher and I'm recording and post up on YouTube. Not thinking. Once you do that, you actually signing your way your freedom. That you actually telling on yourself. 
when you ask a friend to record something and he jumps in with you to down to put this woman down you is not just putting yourself in trouble get getting yourself in trouble you getting your friends in trouble too because you recording it and you playing along with them calling this woman fat ass telling, saying you gonna shit on her yard piss on her doorstep talking about oh that's why your family died because they killed committed suicide to get away from you and y'all sort of, and people and, and, and the funny thing about it and I've seen some kids and I thought man I see some kids on YouTube talking about it and I sit there and say, you know what these kids are bad at? The ones that are talking about it on YouTube, there's like three of them that was talking about it on YouTube. And I thought, okay, these three kids that did YouTube videos, response videos to the, the bus monitor crying on the bus, is sitting up there dogging them out. These kids, like, it's funny that three kids that's the same age as the kids on the bus dogging this woman out, it's dogging them out three kids the three videos I'm seeing of kids dogging out the kids in that video dogging out this old lady I'm laughing like hey like one thing is I'm, I'm sitting there like okay you got like you got three kids dogging out the dumbasses and making the bus smile to cry video now that's look when you got three kids dogging out the the kids in that bus monitor make bus monitor cry video then you know them kids are been raised right that was one video where a guy did a video to did a video response he said well if the kids are bad i don't think if the kids are bad i don't think parents should be parents i think their kids should be taken away from when you get kids i kind of agree with them i kind of do but it's like this if kids are sitting on a bus dogging out some elderly person calling her fat telling saying the only reason why your family committed suicide is to get away from you I think they should be punished to the full extent oh they can say oh I'm sorry I'm sorry we won't do it again but you know they're gonna do it again you know they're gonna do it again and it fucks me up that there's two other videos of these kids dogging this woman out three two other videos and I don't get it. there's two other videos dogging this woman out and it, there's only one that shows up there's only one that hits the media why is there only one video that hits the media but there's two other videos so there's three videos and and all of these kids dogging out this lady I'm gonna post all three of them up in the description box but I'm gonna post three of them other videos where these kids are dogging out these kids on that video. And I'm gonna show you that, hey man, there are intelligent kids that are not stupid enough to record themselves, incriminate themselves on a bus, calling somebody a fat ass or saying, if I stab you with the knife, that's already saying, I'm gonna kill you. Like, you hear a kid saying, I'm gonna stab you with the knife just to see if you bleed butter. That's kind of a threat in a way, because he said he gonna stab you. A, a, an adult. Now, ain't no, ain't nobody ever sit there and say, okay, he just said stab. Why does this kid say stabbing? He's thinking about killing this woman. And, and they talking about coming by her house. So they stalking her. So, so they stalking her. They want to stalk her. Then they talk bad about a family. I said, these kids are not being raised right. Their parents are just terrible parents. Oh, we can't watch them 24-7. No, you can't watch them 24-7. But you could, you, you could teach them well enough. When you can teach them well enough. Not to disrespect somebody. Saying, I'm going to stab you. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to piss on your door. Shit in your yard. Or talking about their families. That is, you need to teach them to respect people. Not tear them down. They made this woman cry. And I like I said before, why is these videos hitting YouTube but not been taken to not been taken to the police, the the principal, the teacher, a parent? And it's funny that these kids are sitting up there still doing it, knowing that since it hit the media, they're not gonna stop. 
they're not gonna stop. I'm thinking it's like you. They're gonna, they're not gonna stop. I, if it would have been me on that bus, like screw that, I'm taking off a belt and I'm gonna tear that ass up. I'm gonna whip the hell out of them. Like my mama used to whip me and my sister. I don't have time. If I go to jail for whipping them, fine. I go to jail for whipping them, but I'm teaching them a lesson. I'm teaching them a lesson. If you're going to disrespect me, I can disrespect you. That's how it plays out. That's how it plays out. If you want to disrespect me, come on, disrespect me. Now I disrespect you by, back by knocking the hell out of you. Oh, you drunk. You're wrong for do, saying that afro. Nope, I'm in the right. If they can sit there and talk smack about me, I can sit there and say, your mama should have avoided you. Your mama didn't want you. Your mama almost gave you up for adoption. It gives me every right to fire back on them, no matter what, if they touch me or talk smack to me. Yeah, I have every right to defend myself. And that woman had every right to defend herself. They're the kid, they want them kids touching, feel them grabbing on me on like it. It gives me every right just to jack the ass. If I leave a print, and they come looking for me. Hey, I had to jack his little ass up for talking smack. I had to jack his little ass up. And that's how it is, man. These kids are getting away with so much. Because they got some punk ass parents. Punk ass parents. Like my mother wasn't no punk. My mother wasn't no punk. My mother used to spank me and my sister. Belts and switches and house shoes. She used to do that. I'm telling you, that was, that was, now that was a parent. Now that was a parent. When a parent used to, used to tear that ass up to remind you, hey, don't do it again. Hey, don't do it again. That was a parent right there. Now since these damn laws are set in place, oh, you can't abuse them. But that's giving them, that's giving kids every right to do what, to mess up. When you tell parents you can't whip your kids, they gonna take them kids gonna take advantage of that and run them up. That means you telling kids you can go kill, steal, rob, whatever. You can do whatever you want since your parents can't touch you. See, this is why some kids get abused because some of these parents don't want their kids to end up like that, getting their ass, getting their ass in trouble on YouTube. See, like I said, man, when they made that law, you can't hit your kids. That's abuse. You just gave every kid the right to to do something stupid and get away with it. You gave every kid the right to sit up there and go break the law or do something so stupid that they can get away with it. Oh, I just beat up somebody. Hmm, I got away with it because they there's laws protecting me. And that's all it is. You're allowing kids to get away with so much. You're not really sitting up there letting these parents teach these teach these kids nothing. And all these kids are getting away with so much because these parents don't want to put their foot down. I'm going to take away your Game Boy, your Xbox, your computer, your cell phone. No, 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 no. You don't take away no Xbox, computer. You take a, you take a shoe and knock the hell out of them or a belt. They can't respect respect nobody. That's nice of them. That's it. These people need to stop playing around with these kids like this. Stop being such a punk. That's all it is. These, kids, these damn parents being punks. And I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Uh, uh, Lord Jesus. Oh man, I'd be ooh if I was on that bus, I'd be ready to beat all of them. I'd be ready to be all of them. Me and a couple buddies of mine would have been on that bus choking the hell out of them kids. Making them apologize to that woman. Oh, you're in the wrong, Afro. You're in the wrong. No, I'm trying to teach them how to respect people. That's all that is. I'm just tired of these kids acting up, man. Somebody, man, somebody need to beat them kids. Somebody need to tear that ass up, man. These parents are so much of a punk. See, this is why there's no big mamas no more because after big mamas died off, 
grandma was starting to be what 29 great grandma was starting to be 42 mama was starting to be 15 see what happens there ain't no big mamas no more they be in some punk ass pants seat room Oh jeez, I would even tell them asses up, man, just whipping the hell up out of him. Just to prove a point. I would have had mm, these kids today don't know how how lucky they got it. They don't know they don't know how lucky they got it. I just, I just don't get it, these damn kids today, these damn kids today, I'm telling you, man, go make a elderly woman cry because they think it's funny, oh, she's sweating, oh, I've been a little sweat on you, man, I'm telling you, man, I'm putting I'm put all three of them videos where they making fun of this woman, they tell me what you think. I'm gonna put three or other. No, you no. Know, I'm gonna show that one video about this woman. Y'all go to that channel and check it out. The other two videos out. And I'll put the other three videos of them kids dogging the hell up out of them kids in that video. Because to me, I think it's just wrong. I think it's wrong. I just. I just don't get it, man. People, people letting kids get away with so much. And they wonder why kids end up in gangs, jail, on drugs because they won't let the parents beat the hell out of them. Oh, that's child abuse. That's child abuse. No, no, that's child abuse. No. I right, that's child abuse. You let them go live with them. They be ready to beat the hell out of them. Punk ass parents, man. I'm telling you, punk. I ain't never in my life ever see the day, man, where back in the day, man, when I was a kid, I'm 27, back in the day, when I was a kid, we never did nothing stupid enough to incriminate ourselves. We didn't have no camera phones when I was in the sixth grade. We had cell phones, but we didn't have no camera phones. But not like it is today. We had, like, back when I was in sixth grade, we didn't sit up there and take videos of ourselves and post it up on YouTube because there wasn't no YouTube. There wasn't no YouTube. Like, we're going to incriminate ourselves. We ain't had that. We ain't had that, man. Now, we I should put all three of them videos up. Shit, screw it. And y'all go check it out, man. Cause I think it was just unnecessary for them kids to talk bad about this woman, calling her fat, ugly, a troll, telling the reason why her family is dead because they commit suicide to get away from her. Where the real, where the, where is the real parents at? Where's the real parents with a backbone? They ain't scared to beat the hell out of a kid and then walk off like that's what the hell you get. You don't have it no more. See, I forgot the government killed them off when they placed that child abuse law in. You can place the child abuse law in, but you got pony, but you got pedophile teachers in your schools. Got a pedophile teachers in your school. Ain't that something? Pedophile teachers in your school. I just, I just don't get it, man. Got these punk ass kids talking dirty to a grandmother and calling her fat, fat ass trolls and stuff, saying "fuck you" and all this. Shut the fuck up and all this. Where's, where's the parents? Where's the where's the real parents? Why ain't the bus driver stop the bus and say something? That's one thing. Why ain't the bus driver stop and say something? Or radio stuff that in. Radio in. Oh, we got kids back here messing with the monitor, calling it fat ass and drawing. Why ain't the bus 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 driver ever say nothing? 
That's all that is, man. I'm telling you, man, follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. Look, like I said, man, it's unnecessary for these kids to do what they did. And there's three videos of it up on YouTube, and ain't nobody said nothing until now. Three videos sent up on YouTube, man. That first one should have got them in trouble. That first one should have got them suspended or something where... That woman could have sued them families because they kids are sitting up there hitting on this woman, punching on this woman, calling her fat and saying her family's dead because of her. And that's unnecessary, man. That woman could have with that. I'm so naughty family. If she wanted to. Like it is, I'm going to post all three of the videos that these kids are messing with this woman. Then I'm going to post the other three videos of the kids just dogging them video that one video out with them kids in it and I want y'all to tell me what you think. Alright, holla at me.